And greetings everyone, Lights and Gear is back with another product review. Today we have a new battery charger and also a portable power bank charger combination from the folks at XTAR. As you can see here, this is the PB2S. This actually comes in several different colors, but uh, I received the basic model in black. If um, any of XTAR's chargers are familiar to you, we did have actually another one of their newer models not too long ago in a previous video. We talked about this one, which was the ST2, which was a lithium ion charger. And there are similarities in this one to uh, the PB2S. Um, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But as I say, we've already done a video on this one, so you can take a look at that as well. So with the PB2S, um, this is, um, as it says, it's a portable charger. Um, you can use it on the go if you need to, and it has some unique features. It does come with a, a Type-C USB input, and the max output is 2 amps for, two, uh, for both slots. And um, it talks about the different protocols here briefly that it supports. On the back of the box, of course, it'll give you some other bits of information. It um, has precise cutoff to 4.2 volts, offers a three-stage uh, charging, maximizes the battery lifespan, and so forth, and uh, is, made, is made with uh, or made from flame retardant materials. So it has some... Uh, nice little features to go along with it and we'll talk about it here as we undo the packaging slide everything out and here is the instruction manual which gives you a good overview of what goes on and everything else here including the charger and the USB cord now, in my uh, shipment of the product, um, I can't verify whether this is what you would, you would receive or not, but it should tell you within the, uh, uh, when you do buy it. I did receive the power supply, which uh, is not too much good without the power supply, but it will work um, solely with uh, the USB. But, you know, um, we'll talk about that here in a moment. So with the power supply, this is actually the same um, units as what they furnished with the ST2 as well. And you get the actual, um, you get the universal plug here for uh, other countries, but that uh, slides right out and, um, and re reveals the standard North American uh, 220 volt plug anyway. So you get this as well with the type C connector right there for the USB. So taking everything out, you can see that the charger isn't terribly big. It is um, of, uh, it's reasonably compact, about um, four and a half inches long here for the unit. And very, um, has a nice, you know, has one of these nice uh, smooth feels to the cover. Now this is magnetic, this little case on it. You just pop that right off. You can either pop it off or you can open it and sort of keep it keep it lightly hinged, but it's not really a hinge, it's just it's just magnetic. But uh, basically it'll kind of hang there if you leave it sitting on the table. And then you can just pop this back like that. But um, this reveals, of course, the two bays in here. And this is a lithium-ion battery charger, just like the other one, the ST2. This will only accept lithium-ion. And as you can see, the bays are rather large, so again, it's limited there to the size of battery which it will charge. Nothing small here, uh, nothing, nothing smaller than a 18650 will fit in these slots. 18650, 18700, uh, 20700, and 21700, as it states are the types that it will charge and they, they can be either protected or IMR, INR, unprotected and um, you know or protected ICR. So that's the type of battery that it will that it will accept. So with this you can charge batteries, you can you can put batteries in the slot and then use it as a power bank for other portable devices 
which will in effect of course discharge the batteries you have in the slot in order to charge another unit. It also has a zero activation function so if batteries are a little old and perhaps at zero voltage in charging those it should be able to waken them if it doesn't it will display ER and indicate that there's an error. So uh, let's kind of go through the, um, the motions here of the unit. So for the purposes of demonstration I'm going to take a couple of um, 18650s here and these are both of different brands and even slightly different sizes. Uh, they are both protected batteries but I'm going to use these as the uh, demonstration as to how the unit actually works. So as we look at the unit from every angle on the back here you'll have you can see the USB output right here or you have the USB-C here which is both in and out. So to charge a battery you have to connect the USB-C output here and so if I take the um, cable that came with the unit right here and plug the USB-C in now the thing about this is you'll need you cannot use the actual adapter that came with the unit because it only has in this particular case you can't use the adapter because that only has a C connected to it and this has the standard output end here so you'll have to you'll have to plug that into another adapter so right here we have the standard um, USB adapter which I'll plug this into and then connect that to to the outlet and as soon as I've done that the display will wake up and show me what's going on which in this case is nothing but at least it's indicating that it's working and you have in being shown right here and you have zero in here because there's nothing in the slots so here we have the battery it has started charging it's at 43 percent as far as its overall capacity is concerned the voltage coming in is 4.7 and the amount of current it's putting into the battery as you can see is just over one amp and it's sort of bouncing back between 1.1 and 1.2 now there's a little button on the side here and this button is basically for when you're using the um, USB out function uh, in other words on the other side um, it says when you plug that in you're supposed to press the button to start that process um, going uh, anyway but when batteries are already in the slots like this you can press the button to toggle back and forth between both batteries now if I press it here it'll show it, it kinda looks like a six here but it's it's saying battery one and then if I press it again it says battery two but of course it's showing zero because there's nothing in here right now but um, and then pressing it again will go back to the original uh, the original display but if I press it again so here's battery one so it's showing 4.1 volts up here now this would normally be indicating what the battery will end at or what it's supposed to charge to so that's what that is indicating right now is that this would charge to 4.1 volts if you take a look at the manual you'll see how it talks about supporting fast charging protocols and there are certain conditions and maybe certain types of batteries or whatever that you might use that will promote fast charging now what I have in here right now is not promoting fast charging this is just doing a standard charge if fast charging were actually um, enabled then it, it explains here that the maximum input voltage you would see oh I'm sorry my apologies there the maximum input voltage you would see is 9 volts and then it would use a charging it would use a charging current of 2 amps and when fast charging is not supported then you'll get the standard voltage of 5 and then a 2 amp charging current which is what we uh, basically have here at the moment so anyway we're not using fast charging right here at this uh, at this particular time 
but let me put another battery in and then um, I'll show you what happens then okay so with the second battery in it's now of course reading this one and this battery is at 75 percent as far as its capacity and then here's the 5.1 on the voltage and it's currently using a 0 0.5 amp so if I press it again there's battery 1 there's battery 2 and then we go back here again to what we were just looking at a second ago now if I press it again there's battery 1 there's the battery we just inserted so it's showing 4 volts as being basically what it will charge the battery to and then it's showing here that it's putting in 2 amp. Now when two batteries are inserted at once something different happens than what happens in most chargers whereas everything is treated individually. In this charger it does something different. It'll take the battery that has the lower capacity and it will actually charge that one and leave the other one as is until the lower one catches up to the higher one. So this battery currently has has a lower capacity than the one on the right. So this battery right now, number one, it's actually going to charge this one until it reaches the capacity of this one and then they'll both charge together. So in theory this battery is charging at the moment and this one is not. It's sort of sitting waiting until this one catches up to it and then they'll charge them both together. And then when they reach capacity obviously the percentage here will show a hundred and that will indicate that both batteries are full and because because at that point they're charging together so that'll show 100%, and of course your voltage up here and so forth will show zero. Anyway, that's what happens when you have two batteries in there. Now, let's talk about how you use this as a power bank. So you have the charger like this with nothing plugged in. Now, to, take the, uh, to use it as a power bank, you of course have to have another unit for which you want to charge. Now, in this particular case, I have this uh, uh, Nightcore flashlight. So, of course, I can charge the night core using the, um, using the, the X-Star charger. But, in this particular case, I would have to take a different USB cable, not the one that it comes with, to use for the charging, because, of course, the input on this light is a standard USB input and not a USB-C. So, if you're charging something that has a USB-C, you can use the cable it comes with. Otherwise, I'd have to take a different one. But, you know, very simple. Just um, plug the end, of course, into the X-Star, and the other end into the source that you want to charge, and place one or two batteries in the slots. So, here we have one of the batteries we were using to charge with a few minutes ago. I can pop that in and then I would press the button down here and then that will begin the process and this is telling me of course right away that this battery has 89 uh, percent capacity so it is showing me the information here um, now this is uh, showing me 5 volts and 0 2 amps but that's basically what is going out into the unit that I'm charging but this battery is 89 percent full so right now this is charging and you can actually kind of tell it is because it has a little blinking light down there but if I press the button here on the display it'll show the battery indicator as going up so that uh, lets me know that the X-Star is working properly and it's putting current into this little flashlight and there's also a, a review of this Nightcore Tup flashlight if you want to take a look at that as well but anyway that's how you use the uh, X-Star as um, as a power bank now you can put two batteries in here now of course as a power bank it's draining this battery in order to feed the other light but um, if you put two batteries in here it will obviously be able to 
uh, have use of a heck of a lot more power in order to charge the other device if it if 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 it uh, if it needs that. Anyway, I think you can see that this is uh, kind of a neat little charger. It um, is portable in the sense that if you want to use it as a power bank, obviously you don't need to have an external plug or anything. All you need is a USB connector and um, and a battery from which to discharge, and you can charge something else. So in that regards, it is portable, but um, it's kind of a nifty little charger. And there's a link below if you want to uh, pick one up from Amazon. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about the XTAR PB2S portable power bank charger. Um, it's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video today. Let me know if you have any questions. And we'll see you next time for more from Lights and Gear. Take care.